Okay, let's look at uh, radical stability. Just as uh, with, with the other intermediates, we saw that the degree of substitution on the carbanion or the carbocation leads to trends in what type of carbanion or cation is more stable. We see the exact same thing in radical stability. I think we've actually seen this before, but it, it always bears um, further discussion. So uh, a radical, in general, radicals are considered electron poor. And the reason they're considered electron poor is because they are they don't have a full octet. So when I tend to think of radicals, I tend to think of them as being more like a carbocation rather than like a carbanion, because carbanions tend to be thought of as electron rich, and cations are considered electron poor. So the the stability trends in terms of degree of substitution for radicals resembles carbocations and it goes opposite to carbanion. So here is the methyl radical and of course we can put additional substituents on here and let's keep going. And of course these don't have to be methyl groups. These could be ethyl groups. They could be whatever you want. But as always, methyls are our friend because they make it quick to draw and they simplify everything. Okay, so we can have methyl. This would be considered a primary radical, secondary, tertiary. So if, the, if we're talking about carbocations, the tertiary would be the most stable. Turns out the same is true in radicals. The tertiary is the most stable. Methyl is the least stable. Um, and how do we explain this? Well, we explain this the exact same way we talked about um, carbocation stability. This is a hyperconjugation type argument. When we have this radical, typically uh, the radical will well, let's make that hashed. So we have a single electron in the p orbital. R radicals tend to be um, SP uh, on atoms that have sp2 hybridization, not exclusively, but normally. And we tend to think of the sigma bonds, and there are other ways to interpret this, but that you have uh, electrons in these sigma bonds can weakly overlap with the p orbital. So what we're doing is, is we're overlapping a hybrid with the p orbital. Uh, that's a mismatch in orbitals, but we can get some stabilization, and that stabilization between mismatched orbitals we refer to as hyperconjugation. So this is a hyperconjugation effect, and it follows the trend that we see in carbocations. Greater substitution on the radical tends to give greater stabilization.